Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sangvi and I am back with another Framework Manager tutorial video and in this video we are going to learn about how to create a logic layer or business layer or what we need to perform inside a logic layer or business layer. In my previous video we learned about how to create a new project, how to create a new connection, how to use run metadata wizard to create or import our database table and views inside our database layer. Next we learn about how to change the usage type for each and every column and last we learn about how to create a relationship and how to set cardinality for a fact table and dimension table. Now next we have to create query subject inside our business layer or logic layer. So before uh, moving ahead, I want to show that I I imported lots of stuff in my data layer, and if you watched my previous video, then in my previous video we imported only few product related views or table. Now in this uh, for this video, I exported all the available views and table inside go cells now next we have to create a query subject inside our logic layer or business layer for this i am going to right click on my logic layer or business layer and create a query subject i am going to name this query subject is product and inside this i want my product related information so I want a product uh, number I want all these codes I want everything from my product and from product brand I want okay where is my product brand code okay just import this product brand English next I want to import product color lookup from product color lookup I want product color in English and next I want okay uh, I don't want this from product for pass from product line I want product line English okay product line then product name lookup from product name lookup I want product name and from product size I want product size in English and product type I want product type in English and product line and product type code I think is already available yeah product type code and product line code I think product line code is not available so let's import this in case it is required product type and inventory level right now I don't want this so this is my first product table inside our business layer or logic layer okay now we have to click on ok in our logic layer or business layer we have to create a query subject then we have to rename all our the all our columns we have to sort the column based on the requirement so let's say in my product query subject I want all the keys or codes in top and remaining stuff in the bottom so we have to sort the columns so you have two option you can select this and change the order one by one so let's say I want to change the order for this I want order for this here so this is the correct location or this is my best method I always use this method to sort my columns so I want to place this in top so select all your code or key columns and just drag and the top where you want let me show you once more select all your key or code column and then drag and drop I always prefer this method why because in this method I am selecting multiple columns and I am changing the order of multiple columns with a single click but using this method I have to select one column and then I have to change its order okay again 
if you want to place all this column in top then you can change it but if you want to change the order between or you want to change the order or change the position of product size code then you have to manually drag and drop okay now next thing we have to perform is we have to rename our column so I'm going to rename product and then number okay again you have to option double click in the window you can double click on the name and then you can rename it but again I don't want this method select your best product number and then enter then F2 product size code then product type code then product brand code ok click on ok to make the changes or you can change the column name from here directly ok so press select the column and press F2 to rename and then I want color code Similarly, I want product line code. Okay, you can also change the name from property window, but I don't think so. This is a good habit to select one column and then change its name from property. You can select this and then you can change the name like this so on click on enter you are redirected on the next column so this is multiple ways to change the name of your column so you have to select which you like most product color in English and then product line product name and then product size and then finally product type our product query subject is ready now I want to show one thing that just uh, try to okay, uh, let me open magnifier so you are able to see the product this is product inside my data layer and if you are able to notice this small cylindrical icon it means this query subject is directly linked with your database and now it's time to see the icon of our product inside our logic layer or business layer this is a query subject which is pointing or which is using all this query subject as a source another point uh, another thing you have to remember uh, this icon L icon it means this table content measures and without any icon it means this table contains only identity uh, sorry only identifier and attributes so this is my product line and I think I have something or measure in product forecast okay this is identifier and unit cost is my measure or fact finally we are going to create another query subject for cells so let's create a query subject and this time I'm going to create a query subject with name cells and in this query subject I want what I want I want 
uh, all the measures related cells so put order detail so we uh, with order detail we are going to create line total why line total mm, right now if you are able to see for this order detail I don't have any line total column so we are going to use this or we are going to use quantity into unit cell price to create line total okay and this be this is our uh, calculated column so let me first create a simple cells query subject and then uh, we are going to add some calculated columns okay uh, now what I want I want a uh, few columns so I want cell re cells related so let me cells region cells region code whether I want cells region code or not mm. okay let's grab cells region and I want stuff code cell stuff code retailer code retailer name product type code product brand code I want sales year sales period sales staff mm. product product retailer name sales target is done sales region is done and return item uh, I don't want this right now because I want to keep everything very simple so order detail code order number shipped at product number promotion code quantity unit cost unit price unit cell price I want everything from this and order header uh, I have order number I have retailer name method no okay I want other method let's say other method let's say other method oh, oh, oh. I already got this so other method code in case it is required and let's say branch code let's say country code if it is required branch code let's say city okay so we can create a filter on city so let's say for New York we want to find something related to New York so we can create a filter on New York okay I think uh, we don't have any date column I think ship date we have ship date hmm why not bring something from time dimension or okay I'll for the timing create this and rename and create a uh, sort the column so let me okay uh, bring all the key columns at the top all the attributes in the middle and all the measures in the last okay this is done and it's time to rename everything so I'm going to select everything and from the property I'm going to change the name of everything its product brand code sales staff code retail code and let me save my project first okay and during my training session uh, I asked my trainer that whether any shortcut is there to rename everything or not so we can remove underscore from modifying the model.xml file but we are not able to 
change the first letter into a capital letter so for this there is a no shortcut you have to manually do all the changes so order detail code order number product number order method code branch code country code sales reason I want retailer name I want sales period this must be a ship date order method and I don't want this finally this is city promotion code quantity ok uh, something is wrong no 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 unit cost unit price sales price finally our every uh, column is renamed and now next thing we have to perform is create a calculated column of we have to apply filters on our these query subjects now I'm going to explain how to create filters or how to create stand alone filters or how to create embedded filters and how to create calculated columns or how to create embedded calculated columns or how to create stand alone calculated columns I'm going to explain all this in the next video but uh, and in this video before uh, closing this video I want to explain what we have to perform in our presentation layer so in presentation layer we generally create the shortcuts of our query subject available in our business layer or logic layer so quickly selected all the query subject which you want to export or if you which you want to copy in the presentation layer right click and create shortcut now we have two option one is create shortcut and alias shortcut what is the exact difference between shortcut and alias shortcut this is homework for you and if you are not able to answer this no issue I am going to explain what the difference between shortcut and alias shortcut in my coming videos now we created a shortcut for this two query subject and it's time to drag and drop this in our report layer and then finally this is my product and this is my sales Okay, and the next thing if you want to publish then you have to create a pro uh, you have to create a package and then you have to publish so again I'm going to explain how to create a package and how to publish it on Cognos connection in my future video so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and click on like button feel free to share with your friends and see you guys in next video